Hey everybody, what is going on? My name is Murph Gaming, and welcome back to another Modern Combat vs. video. And uh, today, I'm just going to go over some new stuff that we got in terms of screenshots uh, of the characters of the game, which you guys saw in the thumbnail for the video. Uh, most YouTubers have probably covered this already, but uh, I'm not going to be necessarily doing this whole video on that. Um, now, I'm sure some of you guys saw my Gangster New Orleans first look video. This is kind of going to be like that, like a very long sort of just me talking. Uh, for this video, I don't have a script because, well, school and stuff has kind of taken over my life. But um, anyway, I really wanted to talk about this because we are getting closer and closer to the uh, information reveal. And I will link the Modern Combat vs. website in the description below. You can actually go to this. And it says March 2017. There's going to be more intel coming soon. Uh, so that's why I'm, tr I'm trying to make this video before that um, just so I can give my thoughts uh, and my speculation and kind of my ideas of what GameLop's going to do. Um, now, I, I'm, I am going to be uh, a bit negative in this video. I'm not going to lie. Because um, from what we've seen, it's going a direction which I don't think game loss should go. I mean, <laughs> really, there's nothing I can do to stop it at this point or anything. I mean, they're so far into production. Um, but I, I just kind of wanted to give my opinion and my thoughts on what they should do. But so anyway, let's go over the three uh, characters, I think. Um, this is kind of my, my whole negative point about this. Um, I think there was like a shadow, a speed, and uh, something else like a... I don't know. Uh, I'll post the screenshots again. Um, they had, like, different hashtags for each other. Um, I want to talk about the cat one first, the girl with the cat suit. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm not going to lie. Uh, it it kind of looks kind of dumb. But, um, I, and again, we don't know anything about this game, you know, in terms of game. Well, we do. I mean, we've seen this trailer of wall running, so we know it's going to be futuristic. And kind of what what I'm expecting is Black Ops 3 for mobile. Uh, that's, that, I'm not going to lie, that's what I'm expecting. Um, I'm not quite happy about that. I know Black Ops 3 was perceived as a very uh, good game. Um, but in terms of, like, in terms of the setting, the futuristic setting, um, and I and again I don't understand why Gameloft are doing this. If Call of Duty, they said that they were gonna go back to quote its roots um, for 2017's Call of Duty, and if it's not working out for them, why are you gonna bring it to mobile? Um, we've seen this in Modern Combat 5, um, the whole futuristic thing. Now, granted, there hasn't been wall running and stuff, but uh, people haven't really. It's it it ha it's not the best Modern Combat. I'll I'll say that. Um, so that that that's uh that's a separate issue in terms of Modern Combat Five because it it's a weird game, um it went from premium to freemium to esports, um like it was it was a confusing game and that's a whole topic on its own, uh and it was developed by a completely different studio, um Game of Bucharest is a weird studio went they went from Nova to Modern Combat to Asphalt, um so. Uh, but anyway, that, again, that's, I, I digress. Um, but let's talk about this girl's suit again. Um, now, as long as gameplay's fine and balance is fine and, and uh, you know, there isn't a lot of pay to win, they they can make this game great. Uh, they can make mobile shooters amazing. Um, from what we've seen with the graphics and, and uh, part of the wall running, I mean, I'm not going to lie, it looks like a really nice game. Um, I'm just worried that they're going to, you know, kind of, take this game not too seriously i know modern combat 4 was taken very seriously um as soon as you load up into the menu screen you just had this big dude sitting there with a i think it was a grenade launcher with a fa uh, with um his gas mask on i mean it was awesome and um you, you could see like going through the menus the dark theme and um like gritty um you know they took themselves very seriously and they did it in such a manner in in how it worked really well Going through the storyline, there wasn't any humor, as far as I remember, um, which I thought was an awesome move. Um, and I think for Modern Combat 5, they kind of went in the middle, where they, the game didn't take itself too seriously. Um, when you look at the graphics and, and you know how bright it is, um, you get this impression that, that the, the campaign was just kind of skipped over and uh stuff like that and again modern combat 5 is different and i want to talk more about 4 uh versus versus uh in this video but um so yeah you know let, let's go back to not the cat girl but the whole sort of character thing in general um so we know that there's three classes um the the cat the i think it was velocity um it was in the trailer 
um, the 30 second clip and the same suit was featured. And then there was another one. Um, and we can see one of them has a shotgun. I think one of them has an SMG and the other melee. Um, so, and I, I think this is pretty obvious, but, uh, they're clearly going to do some sort of a specialist, uh, sort of thing like they did in Black Ops 3, or not Game Loft did, but to Activision. So, and we've seen this trend in a lot of video games, Overwatch, Destiny, Call of Duty, you know, um, to be, you know, uh, the biggest franchise to adopt this new system. And, uh, uh, I guess Game Loft are now kind of on that sort of bandwagon from what we can tell. I don't know why else they would put, uh, classes like that. I mean, I know Modern Combat 5 had classes, but, um, they were, they were classes like Support, Assault, um, Sniper, or Recon, or whatever. That's like Battlefield type of classes where, um, they all, you know, have, like, the same ability, like, not abilities, but I mean, like, the same movement and the same overall type of soldier is what I mean. Granted, you know, one, one healed, some would give ammo, but their overall place on the battlefield was kind of the same, obviously, except for the sniper. But in this game, um, yeah, they're gonna have, like, the different specialists, like, and I believe with the cat girl one, they mentioned that she has melee, um, so... Uh, she'll probably have like some sort of melee attack like the Ripper in Black Ops 3 or something like that And again, this is all speculation. We don't actually know any sort of fact We just know that she has like some sort of melee thing because that said they said that in the game Loft blog um, So yeah, um, and, and I really am kind of scared for this game I'm, I'm really not gonna lie and it uh, when I read the description for the cat girl It said the backpack on her back kind of represents kawaii anime can I can I let you guys take a minute to process that? Gameloft said that. Why? I mean, there that now we know that they're not going to take this game very seriously. Um, and what I mean by that is they're kind of doing that for Gangstar New Orleans, where the where the um art style is very not necessarily cartoony, but um, you can see when you play the game, there's no like debris flying in the air. There's no sense of atmosphere, and it's very light and very fluffy and and very... You can just tell that the game is not taken seriously. Now, let me describe what I mean by not taken seriously. Um, Battlefield Bad Company 2 was a great game that was not taken seriously. Um, the developers kind of just had freedom to do what they wanted. Um, they made an awesome story. Um, so I'm not saying that Modern Combat Versus will be a bad game. I'm saying that... From what the information we have right now, it seems like they're just going through, or Gameloft is going through, what, what you know, a bandwagon. Um, they're hyping, or they're not hyping, they're jumping on the trains of other developers' ideas. Um, and, and that it kind of disappoints me, um, because, like, they're taking the sort of hero system or um, class system, maybe from Overwatch or Black Ops 3. They're taking the wall, the wall running from um, previous Call of Duties. You know, they're taking bits and pieces from uh, other games. Now, it could work. I'm not saying that, again, I'm not saying this will be a bad game and nobody should get it. And Because we don't know. Like, I don't want to be a person who judges a game before it even comes out. But, um... I'm not going to lie, so far the game really isn't looking, you know, it's not shaping up to what I, I could see Gameloft doing and uh, and their industry of innovation and stuff like that. Um, because on their website, it's uh, a create, it's be an agent of chaos. And that doesn't, and, and I'm kind of scared because this whole new versus thing, when we had um, like a game that usually has uh, a different title, like... Again, I'm going to take uh, Battlefield, for example. They usually have one, two, three, four. Those are the major releases. Um, and then the other ones are kind of side releases. Now, Modern Combat Versus doesn't have the six. So this could possibly and very likely be a side release. What that means is this: they're kind of taking a break from the main storyline. Because in Modern Combat 5, we had a few of the same characters. We had Saunders, I believe. And I think he's gone um, so I'm not sure where they're gonna go exactly with the story next, if they do continue the story, and this game right now, Modern Combat Versus, seems like it's so far into the future that I doubt they'll continue on the storyline, um, and they might even create a whole new storyline to continue off of, I'm not sure, um, because in the, uh, trailer we saw, like, helicopters and stuff, um, and 
the you know the the player being in a helicopter and I think jumping out um and I doubt that'll be a multiplayer um I'm not saying that it won't because game all could you know pull an awesome innovation like an intro from like Titanfall or something like that um they could totally do that but it looks like something from multi or a single player excuse me uh so we could see possibly a short uh, single player. Now, there are, have been a lot of speculation that the game will be multiplayer only, and I totally um, don't doubt that they will do that. Like, that it's, it's totally a possibility. I would be very, very disappointed and sad, honestly, if they do uh, end up making the game single player, or sorry, multiplayer only. Um, that would be a big letdown for me, at least, because uh, part of uh, a mobile game that I really like doing is when I'm in the car or something, uh, most people have like USB ports in their car, but I plug in my phone, right? And I play a AAA console mission on my phone. Like, you know, if I'm on a long car trip or something and I want to, you know, play a really nice level, some nice CGI and, and uh, set pieces and stuff, I usually will either replay Modern Combat 4 or will replay Nova 3 because those games really brought a premium experience to mobile and I'm really hoping that Game Loft continues this um, with Modern Combat Versus but I, I really doubt that they will um, and again we, we really don't know a lot I've been saying this all, uh, about a ton of games that haven't come out yet like I know in my last video for Asphalt Street Storm I said even though we have the game pretty much we still don't know what Game Loft is gonna do and that's the whole issue with um mobile gaming is usually developers don't tell us what they're gonna do and so we and this is really for i guess most industries and i think what you guys should take out of this video is not to overhype modern combat versus because if you guys do and you guys are disappointed then it'll be a big shame and i don't want to see a company like gameloft either possibly even go out of business or turn 100 percent casual um because with this um, new system that they're doing. I feel like the you know the mobile gaming industry is becoming too much of a casual uh, audience. Like I know PC gaming still has a lot of competitive players left. That's why Counter Strike is such a big deal. Um, but now in mobile gaming, um, and Critical Ops is I don't I wouldn't say it's dying, but it's definitely not you know um, on on the level with something like Counter Strike for mobile. Um, and Bullet Force is obviously doing okay, but it's kind of dying since the there's there's not a lot of updates anymore. Um, so really, this Modern Combat could it it kind of is a life or death uh, death situation. We could see an awesome game come out like Modern Combat Four sequel, and um you know the market explodes and tons of people are playing it, talking about it. People are buying the game. And uh, it's an awesome experience. Or we could see it go MC5's route and go free to play, um, and or maybe even like Asphalt Street Storm's route, where it's so casual that hardcore players and midcore players like me are turned off by it because of like the energy system and the upgrade times. And please watch this video so you can you know load faster or whatever. Um, that that's what I would be you know I would leave Modern Combat for that stuff. Um, now, you've probably been seeing Modern Combat 4 background gameplay for this whole thing. And again, I am banned from MC5, so that's why I don't have any gameplay. I, I don't know, man. I don't know why I'm banned. Uh, I just, I guess I am. Um, I just kind of accepted it now that I can't get in contact with Gameloft in order to be unbanned. Um, I've tried contacting their support for a lot of times. But again, this video isn't on that. But um, I'm, kind of, I'm probably going to wrap this up soon. Um, but I guess in summary, don't be overhyped for this game. Um, we've seen what Modern Combat uh, has been with Modern Combat 5. We've seen the route that Game has gone with Gangstar New Orleans. Um, they even made Gangstar Vegas free to play at some point too. Um, so we know what Game Lop's agenda is. We know that they have switched to freemium games. And again, I'm I'm going to say this like I said in my Gangster New Orleans video. They're not doing it because they want to. They're doing it because they have to. There's a video on YouTube that kind of describes this. It's like um, pro-consumer companies cannot survive without going anti-consumer later in their life. Because they will die if they keep doing what the consumer wants. And that's what Game Loft's doing right now. Um, they're doing a better job. Uh, of it than most other companies I, I would like to say um, but hopefully they don't go too far with Modern Combat Versus um, but yeah 
thank you guys so much for watching. Again, please don't be overhyped and then get super disappointed. Just kind of keep your calm and maybe it'll be a huge, uh, huge success. But uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will catch you guys in the next video. See ya.